Hello, everyone. This is a first course in abstract algebra. My name is Alberto Lozano Robledo, and I'm going to be recording an entire semester's worth of a course, a first course in algebra um, with undergraduate students in mind, so with college students. So uh, the aim is for students who have not had an algebra course before, who have had calculus in your algebra, perhaps some, uh, hopefully some introduction to proofs, but who haven't seen algebra at this level before. Uh, for the most part, this will be a course on group theory, but there will be a discussion of algebra concepts in general as I go along. Uh, this first video is just about course logistics, uh, so let me try to get into that uh, just to explain how the course is going to work. Um, about me, I'm a professor in the, at the University of Connecticut. I'm a professor of mathematics. I'm a number theorist, uh, which is a part of uh, algebra, uh, broadly construed. And uh, in my own research, lots of algebra come into play. And uh, if you want to learn more about me and about my research, you can go to my website or you can go and visit my link tree um, to find out some of my papers and other work and other presence in social media and so on uh, where I can be found. Okay, so what about the prerequisites for this class? As I said, I will assume that students have seen sort of like the standard calculus sequence because we will use at some point for examples of groups, we will use um, groups of functions. And uh, I will also assume familiarity uh, with proofs, so students should know already how to uh, write proofs, for example, proofs by induction and other basic proofs. If you have not seen, uh, if you have not followed a course on proofs, I suggest you pick up a copy of this book, which is free online, The Book of Proof by Richard Hammack. It's a great book to get introduced to, um, uh, to proofs. And I will also assume some familiarity with basic linear algebra at the level of matrix groups, um, the matrix uh, linear algebra, not groups, that we will talk about groups that are made out of matrices. So uh, hopefully the students have seen already matrices and so on, so that we can work with those. Okay, so what else? Uh, the syllabus, what are we going to cover in this class? As I said, it's mostly an introduction to group theory with some applications also of algebra and group theory to real life applications. So we're going to start with an introduction uh, with a definition of groups and then uh, we're going to talk about basic examples of groups, for example, cyclic groups, permutation groups. Then we're going to move on and talk about cosets so we can prove a very important theorem called Lagrange's theorem. And uh, out of Lagrange's theorem, we will also prove uh, Fermat's little theorem, Euler's theorem, and then introduce some of the first applications to cryptography. And then we're going to talk about conjugates and factor groups and normal subgroups. And then we're going to talk about uh, maps between groups, uh, group uh, homomorphisms and group isomorphisms, and then prove some of the most important theorems in abstract algebra in group theory, the isomorphism theorems for groups or the Noether uh, theorems. And we will talk about direct products and uh, the classification of finite abelian groups. Uh, now, we will not prove the classification of finite abelian groups. Uh, I think that's more of a topic that is usually covered in a graduate level uh, introduction to algebra. Once, uh, once one knows about modules, for example, uh, that's easier to uh, prove uh, the classification of finite abelian groups. But we will state the theorem and use it and learn how to use it. We will talk about uh, matrix groups. And then finally, at the end, we will talk about some very important topics in group theory, which is uh, group actions. Uh, out of group actions, we will prove, prove what's called the class equation. And then uh, we will end up the course with the silo theorems and applications of the silo theorems. Uh, books, uh, there's lots and lots of books in abstract algebra. The book I'm essentially following 
is uh, a book by Judson called Abstract Algebra Theory and Applications, which is a very good book, and it's free online. So if you uh, just search online for this title with Judson, then you can find the page for the book and get the latest copy of the book. It has uh, lots of material that is great, lots of exercises uh, with hints at the end for some of the exercises in the book. So I highly recommend it. There are all, many other books in algebra that one can have a look at. Uh, for example, a book of abstract algebra by Pointer that is a very um, uh, popular book uh, and it's also very inexpensive. So um, you can use that one or many other uh, such books. Oh, by the way, one great reference uh, is my colleague uh, at UConn, Keith Conrad, has in this page has many, many expository articles uh, and um, pieces about algebra and many other topics in mathematics, but in particular about algebra. And there are many very good options um, of other, as I said, um, articles and uh, topics to be uh, that are covered in his blurbs, as he called them. I will also use uh, computer programs during my course, so to make some computations uh, more feasible or to be able to work with larger and larger groups, we're going to use uh, the computer. Uh, the book itself that I'm following, Judson, actually some of the uh, versions of the book have exercises to use CoCalc Sage Math to do some of those exercises. So you, you can have a look at that and then uh, use CoCalc uh, and learn how to use it. I will also show you how to use uh, the Magma online calculator. Uh, so Magma is another piece of software that is very powerful in algebra and number theory. And uh, there is a lot that one can do with Magma uh, to uh, run computations in the computer. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Uh, I hope uh, this is a nice and fun uh, course in algebra. And uh, thank you for watching and until the next uh, episode.